Jubilee. Yeah, now this year and um, twenty years of building. I choose life, Africa. Yeah. Uh, lots of nice reflections and lots of lessons from yeah. your story. Yeah. Um, so as it all culminates, mm. um, it, th th there must be a, a number of pointers, a number of yeah. lessons that uh, you have picked, but also you you must be looking at the future and yeah. um, projecting towards a, a few things. What mm. what does that look like for you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so several things, mm -hmm. and I think this needs to be seen within the context of my life and I choose life. Mm -hmm. um, one is, um, you know, I need to leave, of course at this point I've been about transition mm -hmm. for my next phase in life. You're right. And, uh, I'm convinced that I need to live, I choose life strong mm -hmm. and healthy. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but then even as it's transition, mm -hmm. I also need to be able to, you know, have an income, support my family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I think that's a continent. Let me just mention that because it's important. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, when you are at the top, mm -hmm. and I'm just saying that because I'm the CEO of Virginia of Africa, mm -hmm. I am also Nairobi Chapo, I'm the chair of the Elders Court, mm -hmm. but I am no longer in the, the chair of Enet. I used to chair Enet, okay. but I handed over that to someone else. All right. But I'm the chair of the Elders Court, mm -hmm. and what tends to happen is that when you are at the top, mm -hmm. You think about everybody else, mm -hmm. but nobody really thinks about you. Right. <laughs> and, and, mm -hmm. and so you gotta be thinking, not just you. You have to take the responsibility of thinking of the people below you, mm -hmm. the organization below you, mm -hmm. but then also think about your next phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, many people don't do that well, That's and then they overstay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because then you're asking them to leave, but to leave to go where? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, you're asking me to leave at the sea of I choose life. Mm. And I, I, I need to think about leaving. Mm. But the question is, where do I go? Because by now, I'm not really employed. I'm always going to hire me. Mm. Uh, who wants to hire a CEO? Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, so. So then I have to think about mm. the next phase. Mm. And I just want to sort of tell for the people, both, both for the people that uh, who work in an organization, mm. uh, to create that conversation mm. with the people at the top. Mm. Not necessarily because you want them to leave, mm. even if they're there for 30, 40 years, whatever it is. Mm. But you know, I think they appreciate that conversation mm. because there's usually nobody to, everybody will, to listen to or even want to talk about it. Oh, okay. even oh, good. That's your, your, and it's so good that you're talking yeah. about this. Yeah. And, and let's double down on that a yeah. little. So often the situation is that uh, you're probably unreached. A lot of the people who yeah. you are serving, you're yeah. serving you're working with yeah, and yes. the people you're serving. Yes. So you are serving and yeah. you're serving their interests. Exactly. So you're ensuring that their welfare is taken care yeah. of. Yeah. Their salaries are taken yes. care of. So yeah. you are thinking about them. Yes. You're designing yeah. programs, but yeah. also ensuring that their salaries are yeah. taken care of. Yes. Um, and their well-being. Yes. And their, yeah. you know, they have they yeah. have remuneration yes. all the time. Yeah. Yes. And their, their career is progressing. Mm. Yes. However, on yeah. your end as yeah. the leader, yes, and it's not just leader yeah. in one regard, yeah. it's yes. leader in a number of regards. Yes. It's leader yeah. as a CEO, it's yeah. leader in, in various other ways. Yeah. Um, yours is an outlet. Yes. Yours is just yeah. an outlet. Yeah. Often a lot of the people yeah. that you're outletting to, yeah. none is yeah. uh, asking you the yeah. same questions yeah. that you're probably asking them. Yes. What's your next move? Yes. Uh, yeah. What are you thinking about yes. the future? Yeah. No one is coming to you yeah. to ask you those questions mm -hmm. often because yeah. then, uh, and you're saying you would appreciate or you would have appreciated yeah. those kinds of conversations. Yeah. And maybe then they are not 
supposed to come from the people yeah. uh, that you serve. Yeah. Were there or have there been people around you? People earlier in the yeah. beginning of this conversation, mm. you talked a lot about a lot of people and yes. you mentioned significant yeah. names of people who mentored you. Yes. Were there people along the journey, especially now yeah. post your thirties? Yeah. Who have stayed on and who've yeah. asked you these questions like, hey man, yeah. what's your next move? Yeah. Uh, and how are you preparing for that? Have there been those kinds of voices? Yeah, so now with the navigators, it was easy for, I mean, it's structured in such a way to have mentors. But then, of course, once I now moved to uh, what I do now, of course, mm -hmm. they, they, they can't quite identify with that. Sort of, uh, mm -hmm. but so the need was to be able to identify similar, right. similar sort of. Uh, so I do have people mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, uh, I engage with, mm -hmm. uh, I think they have the role to play. Mm -hmm. They definitely have an important role to play. Mm -hmm. But I also think employees also play an important role mm -hmm. because they understand the organization, they understand, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, many times I think they don't feel, um, yeah, they don't feel it's in, in their place to be able to engage. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe. I don't know, maybe it's just, I don't know that it's me who needs to be more vulnerable and mm. sit and, mm. you know, but somehow, mm. um, when you are sitting with an employee, they tend to focus on their issue, mm. the things that they need to get done mm. for themselves and other staff. Mm. But they, it's, it's like they don't think you as a CEO of needs, mm. basically. Mm. They way. don't view you as a, <laughs> as a fellow employee no. in the organization as well. <laughs> No. But hey, at this at this stage you're yeah. employees. Yes, you're so employees. Think, we are think, 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 think of this yeah. as well. Mm. Yeah. But no matter what it is, mm. I imagine actually even for the president, I don't know whoever, whoever, whoever goes to the president mm. and says uh, what what are your needs? Yeah. I think all of us want to go and uh, there's them. a road that's not working, yeah. there's an airport that should be doing better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we all feel like we we know about running the car, the country more than him, mm. and when you have a meeting with him, it's all about telling him how he needs to do better. Mm. I think all are, all of us are like that. Mm. Mm. So it just sort of uh, anyway. So it, may it be? Mm. I mean that's true. Then mm. you know I have to think about mm. Uh, mm. the future, not just for the organization. Mm. And I'm at that point now. Mm. So there's that uh, way on you. It is. It mm. is a response because then you almost have to think about. Two, two realities are simultaneous. Mm. I have to think about now. I've got about mm. ninety staff mm. and maybe over three hundred volunteers. Mm. People work short term. Mm. So we have to think about all this. It's a whole lot of, it's a lot of people. Livelihoods, families, yeah. yes, destinies, yeah. yes. Mm. So I have to be thinking about that. And then your own family, my own family. I then have to be thinking. 10 years from now, mm. what should this institution uh, called I Choose Life look like? Mm. And in the midst of that, what role should I, Mike, where should Mike be? Mm. What role should I play? Mm. And what do I need to do now to prepare for that? Mm. So in terms of the future, what I, what I see is, um, there are a lot of I Choose Life alumni. Correct. You know? Mm. Um, across the country. Mm -hmm. so Across the world. Across the world, actually. More precisely. Yeah. <laughs> in Timbuktu, <laughs> in Auckland, wherever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think the first sort of opening mm -hmm. in this was, you know, I am part of a team, it's called the Generation Unlimited, mm -hmm. that's made up, it's driven by the Office of the President, the UN, mm -hmm. and basically is a team of individuals, mm. both private sector and public sector, mm. who are thinking about uh, the youth agenda. Mm. It's really a global initiative mm. uh, and our president is a global youth champion. Mm. And so we have a steering committee in Kenya which I'm part of that, mm -hmm. just helping uh, think about the future of youth and the agenda of youth and mm. responding to the needs. Mm. And so we had um, so the chair, so we've got a president, and then you've got the UN um, head of the UN here, mm -hmm. and then you've got Joe Moshero, the CS, is mm -hmm. another co chair. Mm -hmm. 
So we had a meeting at KCC mm -hmm. about uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was this lady, I mean, I had a profile being mentioned in the meeting. She's in, she's in her 20s, she's been a CEO for five years. And, you know, when Obama was in South Africa, Obama recognized her as one of the emerging young leaders. I just thought, this is amazing. Where do you get such young individuals who are like having global impact? Where do you get them? And you know, 28, she's been a CEO for five years. Hmm. I thought this is amazing. I need to, I need to, I need to get to hear a story. Yeah, I just, I just made a mental note and I, I said, I'm going to follow this young lady as soon as a tea break yeah, and I'm going to corner and I'm going to listen to her story. So as soon as the meeting was over, tea break, I went, hey, Karen, we need to have coffee. So I took her out uh, for coffee and I said, Karen, I'm so intrigued by your story. I mean, you're so young. Where, when do you get to do all these things? She looked at me kind of funny and said, but Mike, you're my mentor. I said, what do you mean? Well, I was nice seeing that you know so many All these kids you're talking about the train. Hmm. I almost fit. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, here I am, you know, being totally blown away by what she's doing. And she's saying, you know, all those skills, a lot of them she learned when she was in a youth life at the University of hmm. So then when, that's when it dawned on me. Yes, of course, I've always known there are youth life alumni doing amazing things hmm. in different places. But then that's when I, it dawned on me that uh, really, in my next phase, I need to focus on not youth life institution, but I choose like the movement mm. and uh, identify and try to support alumni, mm. whatever they are, because these are now amazing, like yourself, I mean, you guys are doing amazing mm. stuff. So really, it's just finding a bit of the flame, mm. being uh, able to create a bit of support wherever the alumni are, mm. and uh, and being able to really just fund the flame mm. and be their hero, but be, be them being their fun um, because a lot of them so you you now have intergenerational alumni mm. of course there are those that are in their 40s mm. their issues are going you know, they are very successful with their careers they are they're the ones in their 30s you know just think about the different uh, age cohort mm. and the different levels of issues you go through mm. so it's create it's create an infrastructure that supports that movement mm and helps them succeed uh, mm. even more. Your age of the sage. The age of the sage. Age of the sage. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you are yeah. celebrating your jubilee year yeah. this year. Yeah. So it's a good uh, yeah. milestone yes. as well for yeah. you because at the same time you're yeah. celebrating this yeah. jubilee yeah. year, yeah. it's yes. also the same time you're yeah. celebrating you know, 20 years yeah. since. Yeah. ICLOs began when yeah. this also is, you know, yeah. your uh, an alumni platform yes. is also, yeah. um, you yeah. know, getting started for, yeah. for these kinds of realities to yeah. happen yeah. and bringing together all of this. Yeah. What's the size of the alumni in your estimation? How many so have gone through? So, you think we've been uh, going on for the last uh, close to 20 years now? Yeah. And even if you're to do an average of a churning up um, you know, I would maybe put an average of five hundred young people that you're impacting every year. So if it if it is a twenty years That's times good. a thousand would be twenty thousand. So half of that would be ten thousand. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's yeah. a lot of yeah, yeah. It's a lot of yeah. yeah. But then that has changed in the last few years. So that used to be when you used to do university, university only, and so forth. Yeah. So if you look at uh, last year alone, mm. last year alone, uh, twenty twenty, you mean? Yeah, twenty twenty. Mm. We 
high school alone, mm. we trained uh, 15,000 soldiers, mm. and each of them was supposed to reach 10, mm. so that was like 150. Mm. So you're talking about uh, 150, you know, mm. engagement in one year, 150,000. Mm. And, uh, and then, you know, part of the challenge of this alumni, so if you think, I believe you have to say there are 10,000 alumni, mm. uh, but then, you know, in 2019, uh, we were working with the Minister of Education, mm -hmm. and the then the CS of Education, her name was uh, um, uh, Mohammed. What is the CS? Amina Mohammed. Amina Mohammed. Amina Mohammed. Yes. Yeah. So we we put together, we launched the mentorship policy and yes. guide yeah. at the uh, upper 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 here, mm -hmm. secondary school, mm -hmm. and Amina and I sort of clicked in mm -hmm. terms of. Uh, what we were seeing in high school and mm. what needed to be done mm. as we were launching that policy. Mm. And so um, we launched the policy and the policy is to influence mentorship in every single school in the country. Mm. We're talking about 20 million. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that was 2019, we launched it and then for several years nothing happened. Mm. Then uh, towards the end of last year, mm. beginning of this year, the music mm. came and said, mm. why don't you help us? Mm implement this mm. mentorship, mm. actualize it in mm. the education sector. Mm. So mm. I asked them, so how many kids are we talking about? Say 20 million. Mm. So 20 million. Mm. I said yes. Mm. So then mm. we began rolling a mentorship uh, program for the schools mm -hmm. that's going to be targeting the 20 million learners in school. Wow. And uh, so that, so last year we did it in 20, in ten counties, mm. and then we'll be expanding it. Mm. So when, I'm, when when I think about the I choose life alumni, mm -hmm. it's not just we were meant always to become change agents, right? Not just live for ourselves. Yes. So really, and that's mm. why we are having the dinner today, mm. is calling the alumni mm. to go back mm. to their counties mm. and their schools mm. to go back and give back. Mm. So that even as we continue investing in the alumni, mm. they too mm. are going back to their counties mm. and to their schools mm. and they're giving back mm. and mentoring the next generation. Mm. Now we'll create a platform that enables them to meet in a much easier way, um, where it's clear what the curriculum they need to mentor, mm. you know, how to do it, because there's a lot of logistics to be sorted out. Mm. But really that's what I see. It's, it's more of, yes, uh, yeah, let's, let's mm. do it together. Mm. This country is our responsibility. Mm. Uh, the next generation is our responsibility. Mm. Um, God has given us an uh, opportunity mm. for us to benefit. Right. And then let's have, have other people benefit as well. Right. Right. Yeah. That, that sounds like a very nice, perfect <laughs> call for action and yeah. a very nice yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, way to climax it. Yeah. So I, I, I thank you so yeah. much. Unless you yeah. do have anything else you would like to now open yeah. and just yeah. add or, 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 or yeah. say, I yeah. think that that yeah. was a really good yeah. way to, yeah. to end it. But I'll give yeah. an opportunity to, to yeah. uh, as we bring it now to, to yeah. as, as we begin to land yeah. this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it just to when I think about, I think the the, the future of the movement is alumni like mm. yourself, mm. Uh, and you know when we reach a point where we are, it's really not it, it it's mutually giving to each other mm. because I mean I look at what you're doing, I can never be what <laughs> I cannot imagine what you do. You're helping uh, the private sector, and there are a lot of alumni in you know, the, NG, the NGO grant making and so forth. Mm. Uh, yeah, so it is all of us saying let's change this country mm. because we can mm. and because uh, God has endowed us with gifts and mm. skills and competences. Mm. Mm. So so that's really what mm. uh, I would imagine the future is about. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Uh, we appreciate Mike on the mic, Engineer Mike Mutungi on Development Dynamics with Maxi. What a life, what a legacy, and what a future. Um, a future that holds 10,000 alumni is just a small number. Probably those are the ones who have gone through the university program. Hundreds of thousands of others uh, on the, standing on the back of this great giant. And a uh, humble giant, uh, he's, he's, he's shared a lot of life lessons. And we are great that this platform was able to host you, sir. 
So thank you so much. Thank and, you too. Uh, we thank you for having me. We are really looking forward to sharing yeah. this. Alumni, uh, ICL alumni, uh, subscribe to Development Dynamics with Maxi. Share this as far and wide with every other alumni. And please also log on to the alumni, ICL alumni platform and, uh, you know, continue um, uh, going, giving back and going back to your community to share. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.